It's no secret that phobias trigger anxiety. In fact, a phobia is an anxiety disorder. Phobias all can be extremely anxious and unsettling to the people they affect. Most, if not all, of the following phobias can cause things like heart rate to increase, blood pressure to rise, excessive sweating, trembling, muscle tension, palpitations, nausea, and many other symptoms. Kinemortophobia Yes, kinemortophobia should make you very wary as it is the fear of zombies. Any sane person that isn't wary of something that wants to eat you alive or at least bite you and turn you into one of the blood-sucking parasites themselves then maybe should seek some help. Like instantly. Allium phobia. This is one that is certainly for all you blood-sucking vampires out there or anyone who just hates smelly breath. Allium phobia is the fear of garlic. Some unfortunate people will walk down the next supermarket aisle if there's garlic, as just the sight of it makes them anxious. Nostophobia This one is kind of sad, as no one should be afraid of their safe place. Nostophobia is the fear of going home. This could be for many reasons, as simple as a fear of entering a dark house or room, in a sadder reason, it could be due to a dysfunctional home with an abusive relationship or close family members. Plutophobia This is a fear of money and wealth. People can have a fear of losing money, maybe wary of socializing with a wealthy person, or the idea of being rich just scares the individual into staying well away from money and wealth at all costs. Consecatalia Phobia Yes, there is a phobia for chopsticks. Many people struggle to use this ancient form of cutlery, however, for some it can become so stressful it turns into a phobia. Adding to that, there is also an element of danger with chopsticks if they're used in a malicious way by being pointy and dangerous. Syngenesophobia This is more relatable to those who dislike the in-laws. It also applies to closer family, too. Syngenesophobia is the fear of relatives. People suffering from this phobia are highly unlikely to be at large family gatherings. A single relative approaching just to say hello could also be an anxiety-triggering moment. Some with this phobia can even go as far as to deny the relative exists. Fear of the mother-in-law does not help in many cases. A Blutophobia This is a dirty phobia. It is the fear of washing, cleaning, or bathing. This could have stemmed from a traumatic event, an accident with the brain, or from a family history of various similar issues. Just a simple task as washing your face can trigger all sorts of panicky reactions that have to be overcome. Turophobia This is the phobia of cheese. Yes, the same cheese that many eat daily can terrify others. The smell of some cheeses can put people off, but it's also just the sight of cheese that's enough to send some into a panic. Many also cannot touch cheese, the thought of it, and the feel of the texture can make some nauseous. Deipnophobia People with deipnophobia are usually found to be eating alone. It is the fear of dining with others and can cause embarrassment, and like all phobias, anxiety just for simply eating in front, near, or around someone. This can also lead to loss of appetite and eating issues in general. Dendrophobia thinking or just seeing trees and getting panicky, severe discomfort, or any of the usual phobias could mean you have dendrophobia, the fear of trees. Problems could be the scary shadows made by trees at night, creepy crawlies, or animals that live in trees, is the tree going to fall on you as you walk or drive past, or even the bustling sounds that they make in the wind. Megaricophobia This not-so-common phobia is the fear of cooking. This can range from an array of issues caused by the fear of causing a fire, giving someone food poisoning, not getting whatever you're cooking perfect, or just making a disgusting meal that everyone hates. The Lassophobia I should imagine this phobia would be common especially at sea when the gigantic scary waves start to appear. The Lassophobia is the fear of the ocean or other large parts covered by water, especially large areas like being out at sea and there's nothing for miles and miles around you. Also going downwards where the water's deep and there's no end or bottom of the ocean that can be reached. Necrophobia This is a common phobia, and rightly so. It is the fear of death or dead bodies. To most people, both are unpleasant and unwanted. 
Death-related fears could be the fear of losing and never seeing loved ones again, and just as scary is the thought of not knowing what happens when we die ourselves. Dead bodies are also high on the scary lists, especially if one moves or if you come across the smell of one decomposing. Veloxrotophobia People with this phobia certainly don't like the ups and downs of life, also known as coasterphobia. It's the fear of roller coasters. Yes, they're exciting and enjoyable to many with some scary, adrenaline-filled moments, but to some, they're terrifying. The fear of heights, some past trauma, or just the sheer fear of speed and adrenaline is enough to keep many people's feet firmly on the ground. Lacanophobia When someone says that you should eat your vegetables, especially when you're younger, for some this just isn't possible. Yes, broccoli, celery, and the like may not be the most tasty or entertaining, but for anyone with lacanophobia, then the sheer thought of them are horrifying. It is the fear of vegetables. Yes, to some people, vegetables are scary in many ways, enough to break into a sweat or totally avoid even walking past them. Hippopotamonstrosisquipedaliophobia, or in short, sesequipedalophobia. Yes, that was a mouthful. Ironically, it's the fear of long words. Many long words can lead to horrible feelings and thoughts for many simply by seeing and reading, writing, spelling, and even pronouncing. Whoever came up with the title for this phobia must really hate mankind. <laughs>